Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone and we're here for an investment guide on Marion Riptide. So free to play and for those who want to spend a little more. Okay, uh, but before that guys, I would appreciate if you could subscribe to this video because this helps my channel a lot. And also, if you think this video is very informative to you, please do put a like to it. Um, again, starting off with her skills. Um, I do have a timestamp in the description of this video. So if you want to skip some of the parts of this video, you can actually skip. But we will be starting off with the standard skill, which is Sea Hunt Predator. So for Sea Hunt, I... Oh, sorry. For all the skills, I won't be talking about the Neuro skill because I'll be talking about them in the Neuronic section. So Marin provides herself with a Kraken magazine containing one Kraken shell. At default, Kraken shell shots deals chaos damage using Sea Hunt Predator again will remove Kraken magazine early and start its cooldown. Kraken magazine increases rate of fire by 100. Shooting consumes Kraken shells before using other bullets in her magazine. Kraken magazine shooting is considered standard skill damage. Okay, take note because it's standard skill damage, you can use Enya. Enya Exuvia as her support if you use Marion Riptide as your main DPS. Okay, so that's just a tip. Kraken Magazine cannot be replenished in any other means and cannot stack with other special clip effects. Kraken Magazine shot so is modified by your attack stats. So take note of that. So again, the, sk the, the skill mechanic clearly is reload with a, with a Kraken Magazine. Then once you shoot, the next bullets will be your standard magazine up until you can finish the cooldown and reload again then shoot then go back to your standard magazine so that is really the skill cycle or the shooting cycle for the standard skill next is her oh, uh, support skill so sirens melody uh ambush support after marion uses her support skill she remains on field uh, passive when Marion is off the field and in combat, she gains three Tide Song every one second and gains more Tide Song when other operatives use their standard skill up to 0.1 seconds. For every 25 Tide Song, converts one Tide Song shell up to four shells. Tide Song limit is at 100. Marion cannot gain any more Tide Song when she's at max Tide Song shells or has a Kraken magazine. After using Siren Melody, Ma Marion, I was about to say Melody, Marion immediately deploys into the field, converting all Tide, tide Song shells, it's a tongue twister really, to an equal number of Kraken shells and equipping her Kraken magazine. Tide Song gained from the operative standard skill is going to be seven. Okay, so the story for this, to cut it short, when you're using her off field, you can gain Tide Songs. Okay, so when you're using other operative standard skill, you gain seven Tide Song. That is how you hasten the gaining of your Tide Song for you to use this skill. Okay, um, for every 25 Tide Song, you gain one Tide Song shell. There is going to be a max of five Tide Song shells, guys. Um, up to up to four shells, not not five, four. So once you are at max already, you can definitely use the standard skill, uh, the the support skill. Marion comes in, your active operative goes out. So Marion is now your active shooter. So your active shooter, active op can use the Tide Song shells and shoot shoot whatever <laughs> to whatever is her liking up until you have zero Tide Song shells. So once you're at zero, you can use you can you can either use her continuously with, with standard bullets or you can swap again with the previous op and regenerate your Tide Song using the newly in incoming um, operative that you're using. So that means Marion is off field. So when you're using Marion off field and there's an active op, standard skill regenerates Tide Song. 
Okay, that is the short sense in her mechanics. So she's partly a a skill DPS buffer, partly a you know a secondary um, skill DPS. No, secondary your secondary ballistic DPS damage dealer. So that's the complete sense of it. Okay, next up is going to be your eruption from deep. This is going to be your ultimate skill. So Marn throws a, a Seaburst canister, creating three explosions of increasing um, AOE that deal chaos damage to targets in range. Passive, this is going to be a... Uh, targets um, uh, ignores target uh, some of the targets all type resistance this is the first one this is her first debuff by the way um, radiant wave um, all type resistance is only at 12 percent but it's that it's it's really good um, this skill also scales on her attack stat as well and finally we do have her alignment or they was alignment when equipped with a chaos weapon, increases full squad standard skill damage by 20% and has a modifier for each 10 alignment index ratio by an extra of 2. So, again, this is also good. This is a buff for everyone in the full squad. Okay, so with that said, that is her skills. Moving on to her weapons. Her weapon, I'll do a summary, guys, of what her weapons can do. If you are basically free to play, you're only allowed up to four star. But four star is not that bad. But again, I'll have more inform information on the five star later. So for the four star guys, I technically am at uh, tier five. So it's easy to farm, easy to get. It's free. Um, but you only get two self buffs. If Marion is your primary shooter or your active shooter, um, two self buffs and no active up buff so if she is your active up she gets two self buffs but if she is off field uh she doesn't give her active off any buffs because of this gun this gun i'm talking about this gun guys so the ability of this gun is two self buffs and no active off buffs okay so i hope i'm clear on that if we are to compare her with her um with uh, compared to four star with her five star weapon so here it is abyssal nymph abyssal nymph has uh basically two self buffs one debuff and one active up buff so the debuff here is going to be ignoring 18 percent of targets chaos resistance so again, two D buffs for a kit technically. So again, five star is way way better, guys, because of the two buffs. If she's an active op, one D buff, and if she is off field, she provides one active op D buff. So again, if you have the chance to spend, please do spend for Abyssal Nymph because even though at one copy you can farm the other copy later through decomposing your double or your you know copies which are extra of your other orange tier weapon so again you can spend a little on this then the other copy you can probably purchase in the shop okay so that is for her weapon <clears throat> next up is going to be logistics okay logistics guys we do get logistics for free together with uh, marion riptide these logistics are have the correct stats already for the first two. What I mean is attack and alignment index and this one. So for those who have, are seeing this video and did get Marin Riptide as a pull, um, when you get her logistics, it's going to be random. So i um, really sorry that you weren't able to get her while she's free. But for those who are seeing this video and haven't gotten marion riptide yet please get her now because at this point she is free as of the you know the airing of this video she's free at of the moment with free logistics by the way so attack and alignment index either one or two some sometimes um attack is on the second alignment index is on the top but on the third row this is um you have to get chaos chaos buff for her chaos damage so that is where 
you have or that is what you have to choose for her logistics if you take a look at Elrond's um, two officers you have an attack buff attack stat buff of 24 the rest of her stat your three officers um, sad to say that this uh, logistic is exclusive for Marn Riptide because her name is specified here and it greases Kraken magazine damage by 50%. So if she is actually the active op, there is an increase of damage. Um, when Kraken magazine is not active and increases skill damage deployed operative. So this one is going to be a buff if you are talking about a deployed op operative aside from Marian. So the 50 is for Marian. The 30 is the deployed operative aside from Marian. Okay, just to keep you guys informed on that. So next up, we do have manifestations. If you guys are free to play, I would highly suggest you go up to M3, but we'll go through M1 first. So M1 is Ebbing Knight, increases rate of Kraken magazine by 10% and additional 10% for each Kraken shell fired up to 50. So this effect is cleared when Kraken magazine is replenished and also increased final damage of Kraken shells by 10%. Definitely, she could use this if she's the active off, and especially if she has a lot of Kraken shells in her gun. Okay, next up, <clears throat> M2, depending on, you know, um, what type of free-to-play are you, if you want to invest in her, or if you want to scatter your resources, it's really, really up to you. It's a, it's a preference, guys. So this is M2. The number of Tide Song shell changes increases full squad skill damage by 20% for 8 seconds. Repeat triggers with will reset the duration. So the number of Tide Song shell changes is the count you generate when Marion is off field. So this one increases full squad skill damage by 20%. So M2 is good, but if you are dedicated to use her because you find her fun to use, then definitely if you're free to play, Go with tier 3. When equipped with a Chaos Weapon, increases Tide Song Acquisition rate by 20%. Tide Song Acquisition is Tide Song. Uh, if you have 25, you get one Tide Song Bullet. So the acquisition rate is the faster you gain it, the acquisition of Tide Song. So that is it. So because, again, the faster you acquire Tide Song, the faster you can acquire Tide Song Bullets. Definitely, you will need this if you are free to play. Um, I would suggest you end there because, again, you have to um, sparse out your resources. But if you have more to spare, then definitely go with M5. So Deep Sea Gazer, when equipped with a Chaos Weapon, attacks with Kraken Magazine, ignore 20% of target's defense, which is ridiculous. Another debuff right here. So go with this if you plan to invest in her heavily because she is going to pay dividends for you, especially with M5. Last up is going to be her manifestation. Since she is a mix of a secondary DPS and a skill DPS buffer, the first and basically, uh, hopefully not the last of the supports that we you know that we will be getting. I like her kit, by the way, so that is that. just that. Um, number one priority, we go with her support tree, which is Siren's Melody Cluster Deployed. Operative hits a target with a shot, gains an additional 0.4 Tide Song. Count, uh, cooldown is 0.09 seconds. So this one um, increases the acquisition, again, acquisition of Tide Song, which hastens your ability to acquire Tide Song bullets and makes it quicker, basically. Second up is going to be this one. Um, when equipped with... This one is in the standard skill tree. So, Sea Hunt Predator. When equipped with a Chaos Weapon, Kraken Magazine is loaded with 1, 2, 3, or 5 more bullets. It increases Marion standard skill damage by 10%. 20, 35, 55, and 80. So, definitely, you will need this to maximize the damage of your kraken magazine once you have the max bullets in your magazine definitely this is a must this increases your damage and the first one increases the the what they call this the acquisition of tide song so quick 
quick acquisition. Then this one is bigger damage. Third is going to be Sea Hunt Predator. Um, the second on her standard skill tree. When equipped with a Chaos Weapon, Kraken Magazine is not active. Each hit with the standard shot pellet decreases standard skill cooldown by 0.1 seconds. So this one is her standard skill decrease so that she can do the thing again. So this is the third one. The fourth one is the second one in her um, support skill tree. Siren Melody can be used in uncontrollable state, spelling the state. Number five is going to be under the third tree. It's going to be um, under her ultimate skill. Increase the final damage of sea burst canister explosions by 20% with each successive explosion. And the last one and last priority would be the last explosion of sea burst canister. Sea burst Canister inflicts targets with stun for three seconds. Ultimate skill is usually the last because you will be using her mostly for her support skill and for her standard skill. So the ultimate skill would be the last one unless if you're using her as much in the primary DPS or ballistic DPS role, then you'll go with the standard skill, uh, the, the ultimate skill, but it's rare. But so you'll be using more or less more of the standard skill and your support skill. So that is it for Marion. Okay, my final thoughts for Marion. I like her kit. She is something new to the game. A support op that stays in in active mode once you use the support button, deals damage, deals tremendous amount of damage, then can go out and repeat the process again. She's the first. Uh, she's not a. She's not just a passive, um, passive uh, skill buffer, but she also deals tremendous amount of damage if she is the active operative on field. Technically, you cannot compare both Marion and Enya. They they are not apples. One is an orange. One is an apple. So you cannot compare both of them. They have their different specialities. They just have something in common in buffing of uh, what they call this buffing of um, of uh, skill damage or skill dps but that's just it both have their merits uh and both can be used in different situations again it's up to you who you prefer you go with enya for a full uh skill uh dps buffer or you'll go with marian who is half and half half a skill dps buffer and half as a secondary ballistic dps operative so i like her kit hopefully we get more more of her kind in terms of the mechanic because um i'm i kind of have that uh, wuthering waves feel when you switch active operatives with a skill involved so again i like this i hope we have more and are really hungry for more of this you know you know mechanic and kudos to the devs by the way for building her like this so again guys comment down in the comment section what do you think of her thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here